Hello and welcome to Montrose FC TV. This week's match from Lynx Park is Montrose versus Elgin City. The Gable Endies currently occupying top place in the division. Meanwhile, Elgin City sit in fifth place. It is indeed the second meeting of the season. With Elgin City triumphant back in September by three goals to nil at Borough Bricks. So the ball's played back into the Elgin half. It's played up the wing but it's cut out well there by Allen. Matty Allen does well for Montrose. Plays inside onto Terry Masson. The left foot shot! What a finish by Terry Masson! The Montrose number two rifles Montrose into an early lead. Six minutes on the clock and the Gable Endies strike first. What a finish. Great running there from Matty Allen, the centre half, and then what an assist on to Terry Masson and a left foot short from 20 yards or so into the bottom corner, leaving Mark Waters absolutely helpless in the Elgin goal. Now here's Thomas Riley with a free kick for City. It's headed away by Ballantyne, but it does fall kindly there, and it's a good effort there. It was John Paul McGovern with a shot and a good save from. The Montrose goalkeeper, Alan Fleming. Now here's Elgin City trying to find a way back into this after conceding the early goal. But this is good play from Fraser. If he can get away, but Mark Waters had to be alert there. The, the Elgin goalkeeper, and he was. And now Cameron Eddy is giving the ball away. Now here's Templeman. Plays it wide left. Masson back to Templeman. Chris Templeman, can he get it across? Yes, he can. And Jamie Redmond sees the shot charged down by Jordan Allen. Now Elgin try to go away themselves. Inside, McGovern plays it on to Anderson. Elgin just trying to make their way up the field now. Here's Lewis Strap. And now on to Jordan Allen, overlapping left back. Is it across? And almost. A chance there for Brian Cameron. Now here's Montrose. Martin Fotheringham. Plays it wide right to Ballantyne. Cami Ballantyne. And Montrose right back. Chips it through. Finds Chris Templeman. Templeman goes on a run. Plays it wide left this time. To his strike partner Gary Fraser. Back to the goal scorer Terry Masson. Masson. Just weighing up his options, goes right, and there's a chance of wandering him. Shot from full 30 yards here. Brennan Butter save in the end for the Elgin number one, Mark Waters. Now here's McGovern, takes the ball off Riley. Inside, here's a good chance. It's, well, it's over the top. As Elgin City shoot towards the beach end, and it was Bruce Anderson. With a, a shot, sorry, towards the Wellington seat end, shall we say. And now here's a free kick, Thomas Riley. For Elgin, and it comes, it's all oh, headed off the post. That was close there, it was Stephen Bronske with a header, denied by the upright. Now here's Gary Fraser. As Montrose go towards the beach end, Steves delivers the cross, it's headed down, here's a chance, Redman knocks it back to Masson, and Masson from 12 yards out fails to score his second of the afternoon, and just miscues his effort, and it's well wide in the end. Now here's a good run here from Bruce Anderson for Elgin. Can he get around Alan Fleming? No, he can't. Good goalkeeping by Fleming and Ballantyne gets it away for the mole. Elgin though recollect. Bronski plays it wide and right, but it's cut out though. There's good play here from Andrew Steves. The Montrose left back. What can he do? He's now inside the Elgin box. He takes a shot and it takes a deflection. Not far away. Deflection of Daryl McCarty and Goalkeeper Mark Waters to tip that over the bar. Masson, wide right, Ballantyne. Cami Ballantyne. 1-1 one, one from Dundee United, takes a shot, left foot. Easy save in the end for Waters. Throw in Elgin, Lewis Strap right to the mixer. But simple catch for Alan Fleming. Still Montrose 1, Elgin City 0. Montrose looking to go clear at the top and that's half time Ryan Millen brings the first half to a climax and it's 1-0 at the break Terry Masson's goal on 6 minutes great assist by Matty Allen so 1-0 the Gable Indies Elgin City now trying to 
force it away up the pitch. It's Dylan on to Campbell and Campbell knocks it back to Fleming and Fleming kicks it to safety. Now the referee is, well it looks like he's given a penalty. Ball played back here by Campbell and it looks like Sean Dillon may well have impeded the Elgin number nine Chris McLeish and the referee says penalty. Penalty kick Elgin, great save from Fleming and to deny Brian Cameron. Cameron stepped up right footed, played it to Alan Fleming's right hand side and it was a great save from the Montrose goalkeeper, double handed save and pushes away to safety before Matty Allen completes the clearance. Corner kick, Elgin City, and it comes and headed away by Campbell, but could fall loose here. Here's Cameron, who missed a penalty, gets it back in, headed away by Steves. In fact, it was missed there, and there's a wild effort by Jordan Allen. The Elgin City, number three, throwing for Montrose, and it comes. It's headed on by Templeman. Redmond gets a touch, trying to find Masson, but Elgin get it away, but only half cleared. Returned though by Ballantyne, inside for Jamie Redmond. Redmond trying to keep the, the move alive, and Masson with a shot is charged down. Now it's played out by Fraser to Steves, Andrew Steves onto the right foot. Oh, it's gone in, it's tickled past the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper Mark Waters will be disappointed, he never held that. Or at least pushed that to safety as Andre Steves cuts in from his left foot to his right foot and just drills the ball towards goal. No real pace on it to really seriously test the goalkeeper, but it, the, just, it looked like it just took a, a, a lucky bobble just before it reached the goalkeeper. In all fairness to Mark Waters, and the goalkeeper just couldn't keep it out, and it's 2 0 Montrose. And Andrew Steves has made it 2-0 in 54 minutes. Now Elgin coming back, looking to try to come back with a quick reply, but it's well wide in the end. Goal kick for Montrose. Darrell McCarty, the number four, plays it wide left. Jordan Allen inside for John Paul McGovern. Elgin having the, the patient approach here. Bruce Anderson, short, a good five, six yards wide of Alan Fleming's left-hand post. As Montrose is looking to consolidate their place at the top of League Two, which they certainly will do with another three points this afternoon. Now here's Elgin City going down the left. Here's Alan. It's charged down, but it is going to fall loose here to Lewis Strap. And Strap with a shot. It takes a deflection on its way. Corner kick. Now here's Templeman for Montrose. Templeman, shot wide off Waters left hand post. Goal kick. Elgin City. Montrose 2, Elgin 0. Fraser on to Redmond. Redmond. Cross field pass to Terry Masson. Masson just looking for options, looking for an outlet. Goes left to Chris Templeman. The striker delivers the cross and is headed behind there by Stephen Bronsky. So it'll be a, a corner kick. For Montrose, Ian Campbell delivers it in and it's, oh it's almost knocked in there, it was Chris Templeman causing all sorts of problems in the Elgin City 6 yard box, Paul Watson for Montrose chips it forward and here's a chance, it's, oh it's a cross goal and it falls to Redman, Jamie Redman pounces on the loose ball, it was drilled across the goal there by Craig Johnston, the Montrose substitute, the former County B striker, it was pushed out by Mark Waters, but Jamie Redmond was on to it as quick as a flash to blast into the unguarded Elgin City net on 73 minutes. And it is indeed Monso's 3, Elgin City 0, and the 3 points will be staying at Lynx Park tonight. Shot just charged down there by Mark Waters, and Jamie Redmond was certainly on hand to blast into the Elgin City net. Sean Dillon with a free kick. Headed on, and here's a chance. Knocked down by Johnston, and there's a chance here for fellow substitute Graham Webster. A good save, Matt Waters. Darrell McCarty inside for McGovern. He's under pressure from Webster. Webster plays the 1 2 with Temple, and here's Webster trying to go on the end of it. But no luck, but it has fallen loose. And here's a chance. It's drilled in by Ballantyne. Falls to Redmond back out wide right to 
Cami Ballantyne, Ballantyne taking on Jordan Allen, digs onto the left foot, chips it towards the six yard box, headed away by Bronski, but falls just to Paul Watson, short, wide, good, few feet wide off Matt Waters' left hand post. And now Montrose going down the right hand side, good determination here by Johnston, Johnston, right across the face of the goal, and Gary Fraser couldn't get the vital touch on it. It remains 3 0, Montrose. Throwing for Elgin Cameron, 80. Gets uh, the 1 2, now it's on to Chris Dodds, the substitute. Tries to think her inside, but it's away by Redmond. The goal scorer off Montrose's third goal, but it has fallen loosely to Darren McCarty. Darren McCarty with a left foot shot! Not far away. A good 25 to 30 yards out, and Darren McCarty, the Elgin City centre back, certainly fancied his chances. Redmond back to Fraser. And that is full time here at Lynx Park. It's finished. Montrose 3, Elgin City now. The goals Terry Masson on 6 minutes, Andrew Steves on 54 minutes, and Jamie Redman rounding up the goal scoring on 73 minutes with Montrose third goal. So Montrose top of the table, and the next match will be Peter Head at Lynx Park on the 30th of December. That's the next home match. So full time Montrose 3, Elgin City 0.